Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to explore the Ghost Jordan method using MATLAB. So, Ghost Jordan method is a method of solving systems of linear equations where where the its goal rather is to reduce the reduce the system into reduced row echelon form. So what that is is that this the diagonal of the matrix of the left side, so this one, this diagonal part will be ones and the rest are zeros. So basically it produces an identity matrix in the left side. So in order to do that, first is we need to we need to turn these diagonals into ones. So to do that, we could um, divide divide each row element by the diagonal element, and then eliminating the diagonal element of this of the of that row from the other rows. So in order to do that. So for any size, so so that it can be done for any size, we could we could use loops. So let's copy this. Let's copy this. Okay, of course we need to remove this one. So this will be our system to be solved. So this is our augmented matrix. So yeah, this will be our system to be solved. Actually. Okay. Then first, let's get the size of the system. So okay. We're going to need it later. So that we could limit up to where? It can we can limit the loop so from one from the first row up to the end row something like that so for each row I said earlier we're going the first step is to divide Divide the whole row with the diagonal element. So okay, so this 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 command here uh, grabs the whole row. So for instance, this one. Uh, so for example, so this is one. So from one, one up to this one. Row and all columns. So this is row, this is column. Row 1 and all all the columns. In row 1. Okay. All, or rather, all elements in row 1. So we, we divide those. So just repeat it. We divide those. Element-wise division with the diagonal. So the diagonal elements are these ones, right? This one, this one, this one, this one. So so we need to get the address of these things. So that will be a11, a22, a33, a44. So those are your diagonal elements. They have the same row and column number so that would be the element where the row 
and the column number, row number and column number are the same. Okay. So, we divided the whole row with the diagonal. Then, we need to eliminate or subtract subtract the row the diagonal row or the ratio no so it's like um, So let's do the loop first. Okay. Up to the N. So this one, this part does the, will do the elimination of this variable or diagonal element from this one. So we basically turn these things into zero. Then for this diagonal element, we turn this to zero. This element, we turn this to zero. As well as these parts. Yeah. Top and bottom parts. So to do that, at first we need we need to make sure that uh, j is not equal to i because if j is equal to i it will just be divided by 1 <laughs> because or the diagonal element so it will be 1 and it will cancel out everything so there will be no solution. So we need to check if j is not equal to i. Okay. So we need a key element. Um, we turn this into zero. So we need the ratio of We need to divide A, B in, so the element in J, I divided by the element in I, I. So what this does, so We need this for this formula. Uh, or row operation. When we subtract, we subtract the pre, that diagonal, that row with the diagonal we processed earlier from the next row. So that's where we're going to need it. So, so the next row, this is your next row. Minus the element in Ji divided by Ii, this one, times the row. that previous row we processed earlier. So that's basically it. So let's try displaying the solution. Okay. Let's run this code. Ross. Let's save this as Ghost Jordan. Okay. 
Let's try running this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is 80. Sorry. Again. There. So this is our original system. And the solutions are this one in the right side. So minus 1, 0 0.024, 0 0.1760, 0 minus a negative 1. 0 0.008 2.12 okay so that's how we do it we solve systems of linear equations by Gauss Jordan by doing the row operation let's say so the first one, for instance, uh, R1 divided by A11. Then the next one is for each of these, we subtract um, we subtract a a to a to two um minus a to two divided by uh a one one times the row this row first row we subtract it from here. And so on and so forth. So suppose a zero valued coefficient is placed in a eleven, a one one of the matrix. What's going to happen? Let's see. None. So, how can this be corrected? Well, I think... Uh, we can do row swapping operations because... Because... It's one of the elementary row operations, so it's a valid thing to do. But that will be for another video. So... I think the the advantage of this method is that it ensures that nothing will be cancelled out. It is checked and then it actually it uses division to it uses division in order to division or multiplication yeah in order to cancel out in order to cancel out or normalize the diagonal elements so for the disadvantage uh, the disadvantage is definitely when when the, this first one is zero, can't be solved by n by this uh, algorithm. What else? Mm. So I think that's what needs to be done. Row swapping operations. That's what needs to be added in order for this to be complete. So, before that, before we end, let's check if our answer is actually correct. Okay, this, are, this is our answer using the algorithm. 
However, MATLAB has the function RREF, reduced row echelon form. Okay, since this has been already been has already been processed, so let's try putting it here at the beginning. We can just plug the variable anyway. Eight. Let's see. That's one. Okay, so this is the this is the answer from the reduce row echelon form function, and this is our algorithm. So it pretty much solves it. But there is a limitation. So let's try it. making this a zero and doing RREF to solve it. Let's see if it implements the row swapping elementary row operation. It does! Cool. I'm yet to know how to do that yet to find out. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you like it, if it helped you, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, have a great day. Bye now.